Welcome everyone. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Shivani Gupta. It's been 10 days since Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was arrested in the liquor gate scam by the ED. Now, yesterday, the Delhi Chief Minister was sent to judicial custody till April 15. So that's another two weeks. In its statement yesterday, in fact, the ED stated that the Chief Minister has been evasive in his replies and is concealing information relevant to the scam. Yesterday, the agency also claims that K. Trival revealed that co-accused Vijay Nair reported to ministers like Saurabh Bhardwaj and Atishi and not him. Now, that set the cat amongst the pigeons. For quite some time, neither Atishi nor Bhardwaj were heard from. But both today batted for K. Trival again. Many speculate that K. Trival clinging to his chair while in jail, while other ministers' resignations were sought is not something that is going down well with colleagues. At the same time, some of his statements, at least the ones claimed by ED, are being seen as throwing his party men and women under the bus. All of this is playing out even as his wife Sunita Kejriwal is seen front and centre, like at the opposition block rally a couple of days ago. So is there truly trouble, internal trouble brewing within the Aam Aadmi Party? On the other hand, today, there was the first relief of any kind to any AAP leader in the liquor gate as Supreme Court granted bail to AAP Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh after the ED said it had no objections. But attention continues on the Chief Minister himself with no such relief forthcoming for him. How long is it feasible to keep his party in check and run a government from inside jail? Should Arvind Kejriwal resign for the benefit of the party and the government and certainly the public of the national capital region. We take that question to our guests in just a bit. Clamour grows from legal and political circles citing procedure on why Arvind Kejriwal should continue or should not continue as the Chief Minister. Let's take a look first though at the latest development within the party and otherwise since he was sent to judicial custody. Now earlier in the day, Aam Aadmi MLAs met Sunita Kejriwal, wife of Arvind Kejriwal at the latter's residence. We are being told the MLAs have appealed that Kejriwal should continue as the Chief Minister of Delhi. Now this also is being seen as some sort of shadow boxing that is going on, one-upmanship, some sort of posturing that is going on by various segments or interest groups within the party. On the other hand, Aam Aadmi Party Minister Atishi Marlena made a big claim stating that four big leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party, including her, and interestingly, she named Raghav Chadda, who hasn't been in India since Arvind Kejriwal was arrested, they will be arrested next. She further claimed that the BJP was wanting her to join them or threatening or asking her to join them or else she would face arrest within the next one month or so. Aap Minister Saurabh Badwaj cited Sanjay Singh's bail a short while ago and stated that ED found nothing against him and soon ED would give a clean chit to Chief Minister and Adib other party leaders as well. Of course, that's not the entire truth of what the ED said in court, but we'll break that down in just a bit. In the meantime, the BJP, of course, is breathing down the neck of the party in power. They are maintaining that Aam Aadmi Party is a certified liar party and they maintain pressure. The BJP is continuing its relentless attack, maintaining pressure on the demand that Arvind Kejriwal should resign as the Chief Minister. The Aam Aadmi Party has claimed that the big arrests, including that of the Chief Minister, they were made all, you know, times to elections, just before elections, and this is going to continue. But the BJP says the law was followed, and it's following its own course. It was Chief Minister's moral duty to resign immediately without any deal. A day after ED claimed that Kejriwal mentioned co-accused Vijay Nair reporting to Atishi and Saurabh, as I said, Atishi, the minister concerned, is playing it down. She made a declaration that BJP is trying to poach her and they are targeting the next line of backers in the party. The BJP, of course, countering Atishi's claim, saying that all of this is absolutely baseless. Atishi further declared that the arrests were made under BJP's behest and that they thought that AAP would crumble after the chief minister's arrest. That is not going to happen and of course some are also saying that this whole uh, ED making a revelation in itself seems to be wanting to send a message to the other of the party cadre. She also cited that as I mentioned that she was approached by someone who was the emissary of the BJP and wanted them, wanted her to join the BJP or else face arrest. The BJP of course has countered these claims saying the party had nothing to do 
with these arrests or the investigation, it is Arvind Kejriwal who's fooling up Netas. Now that's obviously one angle that the BGP is playing on very hard on as well. Now I want to recap for you what the ED told the court yesterday, after which the Delhi Chief Minister was sent to judicial custody for 15 days. And this is what really set the agenda of the cat amongst the pigeons. The Enforcement Directorate first of all said that the Chief Minister is highly influential, that uh, if he was released on bail, in all likelihood he could influence witnesses. The ED further stated that if Kejriwal was released, he could tamper with evidences. The agency said the investigation might be hampered and therefore they objected to his bail or uh, non-grant of custody. The ED maintained that Kejriwal has not answered questions posed to him while in custody. They also made a big revelation, as I said, that when they posed questions to him, uh, the chief minister projected and said that Vijayanaya reported to Atishi and Saurabh and not to him and his relationship with Vijayanaya was very, very limited. The ED further said that Kejriwal was evasive and non-cooperating. So therefore, they asked for further custody and in this case, of course, they were granted uh, nearly two weeks, more than two weeks, but in judicial custody. The question though that continues to hang on uh, top of Arvind Kejriwal's head, in fact, the rest of the party as well, are twofold. One, how long can he continue as the Chief Minister? Should he not resign morally, if not otherwise? Particularly because he has in the past asked for resignations just on the basis of an allegation, not even an investigation that an agency is doing. Secondly, is there a danger that there could be some internal drift within the party if Arvind Kejriwal continues to be inside jail for long? We'll take that up with our guests in just a bit. बेटे की आज रिहाई हो रही है, हो गई है, बहुत, बहुत खुशी है, दिल से खुश हैं, पूरा विश्वास था हमको कि मेरा बेटा तो निर्दोष है, ईमानदार है। आप सत्य को दबा सकते हैं, लेकिन आप सत्य को मिटा नहीं सकते हैं। आज संजय सिंह जी की जमानत ने ये दिखा दिया। भारतीय जनता पार्टी का ये इरादा है कि आने वाले दो महीने में लोकसभा चुनाव से पहले वो आम आदमी पार्टी के चार और नेताओं को गिरफ्तार करने वाले तो दिल्ली की गलियों से एक भावना आ रही है कि ईमानदारी की होती जो नियत तुम्हारी तो तिहार तक न जाती तुम्हारी सवारी Let's go across to our guest joining us, Charu Pragya, spokesperson of the BJP with us. Anmol Panwar of the Ahmadni Party will be with us in just a bit. Manasvi Thapar is constitutional expert and lawyer and Rashid Kidwai, author and senior journalist, is also joining us. Manasvi, uh, why don't I start with you? Um, I think by now it has been established and most legal minds have uh, opined that there is constitutionally no bar on Arvind Kejriwal continuing in his position. Uh, but it is interest increasingly becoming a matter of, uh, you know, constitutional propriety plus government machinery. Uh, for example, there is a section 298AA of, uh, the, um, uh, of the Act that governs Delhi that gives Lieutenant Governor the power to invoke that section and say that there is a breakdown of government machinery and certainly that could be argued if the chief minister was behind bars. Do you think this is a fit case for that? See, constitution, uh, as per the constitution, it is there is no bar about it. We, we know about it. The debate is going on since many, many days about yes. Arvind Kejriwal specifically. And there is no bar on that. Practically running a government from jail is not very much possible. It is impractical. It does not uh, suit the frame of mic. It does not uh, suit, the, suit the framework of the state machinery because state machinery is a large machinery it is mm -hmm. not possible 
for running a government from you can't even have a board meeting you can't even have a friends get together there it's a jail so that is impractical to do that so uh, it is the lg and lg's council which will take care of this this particular provision that they have to invoke it or they don't have to invoke but this it. is a fit and case right uh, if the chief minister is behind bars the lg can rightfully claim that there's a breakdown in government functioning and machinery as of now there is no breakdown in delhi per se in terms of governance we have to wait for some particular time is the chief minister ship being passed on to some other mla if that is going to happen or is he, is he going to get a bail after 15 days that is what what going to happen we have to wait for some time to actually invoke this particular provision by okay, the lg okay interesting so LG you are saying at, no once again as far as the aam aadmi party's position is concerned and i'm waiting for their representative to join us but as far as they are concerned they are not going to have arvind kejriwal resign i think they clarified that today as well he is not going anywhere he is going to continue as the chief minister so that political position is very much clear but the other thing you talk about is whether he could get bail in another 15 days so you are saying that the lg also would kind of employ a wait and watch policy and see okay he should not be seen as hastening up the process i think that is the very much apt option for lg also because in the political high voltage drama whatever is going on in delhi bjp versus aam aadmi party i don't think and the maharali of the india alliance and lg will not take a hasty decision he's a very he will take a calculated step and he will discuss with bjp top leaders and then take it up because it will now sanjay sanjay singh is coming out politically it will not look on bjp if he gets bail after 15 days politically it will not look good on the part of bjp if it turns out to be other way round so okay LG let me go to a- let me go to charu pragya with that because you know uh, this is the question that is surrounding the bjp as well you keep asking for his resignation yes you have gone to the lg technically via letter you've gone to the delhi police as well but surely you could have impressed on the lg a little bit more if you thought this was a good idea i think this is all political posturing even you do you know that taking the government away or dismissing the government right now could backfire on you shivani a very good evening to you thank you for your question let's understand that when we are asking for the resignation of the chief minister it doesn't mean dissolving the government they have the requisite number of mlas aam aadmi party won the election with a very clear mandate why is it that there cannot be another person who's leading the government because we want to be in a situation where the chief minister is in such an extent that he is unable to sign important files where he is behind bars where the limitation for visitors is once a week is that how the capital of our country deserves to run or is he saying that all those mlas who won in aam aadmi party and formed the government in delhi none of them are capable of taking care of the running of the affairs in his absence let's remember that other chief ministers have been arrested in the past when lalu ji was arrested he appointed rabi devi as the next cm when himan soren most recently was arrested he also served his resignation appointed someone in his place and then behind bars hmm. i don't understand what is it and this is political posturing that arvind kejriwal and aam aadmi party are doing that he refuses to resign that he actually wants to hold the people of delhi to ransom while he is behind bars and he wants to play the victim card every day that's all that they are doing every day a press conference playing victim card is anybody believing that sob story not at all do you think the people of delhi want to listen to this kind of a city uh, gameplay what not at all what okay. delhi wants is good governance what delhi wants is yeah, yeah i knew this people. question has also have... been swirling around for a few days now as i said it's been 10 days since arvind kejriwal was arrested rashid kidwai i come to you yet again two messages that are coming out one either there is lack of trust or lack of talent as far as the aam aadmi party is concerned therefore Arvind Kejriwal is unwilling to assign his duties as the chief minister even if temporarily to anyone else and secondly there is also this sense that uh, he is not standing up to the same standards that he espoused when he came to politics both are looking very damaging um you know uh, 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 damaging in terms of uh, perception for the aam aadmi party yeah, so shivani what you are saying basically there is a Uh, a kind of moral side of the whole thing and uh, a political side of it which is a sort of internal matter hmm. of aam aadmi party mlas whether they elect or they they sort of dethrone him etc and there is a administrative aspect 
that my other panelist was talking about. Uh, you know, if we see some wrongdoing happening, of course, it is uh, binding on every citizen to intervene, but it is for the police and law enforcement agencies to act, act swiftly, act without any kind of, you know, preconceived notion or apprehension. Uh, there is a government in place in, in terms of uh, the central government, federal government, as well as the left-hand governor, who is the appointee of president of India. If there is an administrative failure or lapse of administrative failure, there cannot be the left-hand governor cannot be doing political calculations. He has to act swiftly as per law. So if there is a breakdown of constitutional uh, machinery in Delhi, the CM being in jail, he need not take in account, you know, what will be the political fallout of Chalu Pragya's party. This is for Chalu Pragya to decide. So no, fair enough. But what do you make of what Manasvi said about the fact that the LG should also not be seen as uh, taking this decision in a hurry? That he could wait another 15 days and see whether Arvind Kejriwal's custody is extended or not? No, no, no. See, Shivani is very clear. That, that's what I'm saying. He is an administrative head hmm. by law. He hmm. cannot be weighing, you know, the political options. I can understand. Not political options, but just to be fair to the government in power and what the chief minister in power. See, what is there to be fair? Hmm. I mean, the chief minister is in jail. That means there is a breakdown of constitutional machinery. And everybody is saying it also. If that is so, then why is he dithering? Because he, why should he be siding with Chadu Pragya's party? Chadu Pragya's party can have this calculation that mm -hmm. Alvin Chekwa's sacking will result in sort of sympathy wave or so, as it has happened in case of Jalalita in the past or others. But, but she is not agreeing to that assertion. He, she is not uh, agreeing to that no. assertion. Very quickly, Charu, you want to respond to that? Because that's the perception that is going out in the minds of the public yes. also. That you are also a little iffy and nervous about this. Uh, Shivani, let's put one thing on record. Uh, our government has never dismissed any state government, ever. UPA, in fact, dismissed 84 state governments. Hmm. That being said, sir, are you trying to tell me that with this massive mandate, there is nobody in the party who can handle governance in Delhi? Is that what you're trying to say? Because in the past, there was a situation where 80% of the ministerial portfolios was held by a minister who was behind bars. That was the situation of Delhi government. What does that tell you? Does that tell you that this is an incompetent government and political party? Does that tell you that this is a political party which is basically run by one plus one person okay. and in his absence the only person they see who can handle the mandate would be his wife what is the message that you're trying okay, to give you're putting the, the message in just very, a bit because i wanted to ask because Raghav, you have once again uh, i wanted to ask Chadda. 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 about that 10 seconds raghav chadda can i please can i please address raghav chadda's issue as well because that is also political messaging. While in London, he's posting a picture with a Khalistani separatist uh, sympathizer uh, MP called Preet Gill. And uh, there is no statement whatsoever on his chief minister being arrested. What exactly is going on? Please, mujhe bata dijiye. Okay, uh, I just want to, I'll come back to the whole uh, succession war, if I can term it that, within the Amadmi party in just a bit. Unfortunately, Anmol Panwar has some network issues, he couldn't join us, but he's joining us over, the, uh, over voice. Anmol, you know, the message that is going out is that the chief minister is clinging on to his chair in a most unethical, immoral manner, politically unprecedented in India. Because he doesn't trust anybody else. And Arvind Kejriwal was supposed to be the guy who was supposed to challenge those in power by saying, you know, you should be able to give up power at the drop of a hat. And look what's happening today. How does the Aam Aadmi Party reconcile this behavior? Shivani, uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, when the case itself is false and fabricated and there's no evidence, which has been stated by the Honorable Supreme Court today itself, no, 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 the Supreme when, Court has uh, not said that. Please don't do this. I cannot please, allow let, this. Let me, let, me, let me make it clear. Today, the Honorable Supreme Court very categorically said that there's no money trail. And that is the reason why one of, uh, one of our no, leaders... No, 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 that is not what we said. Uh, That's not uh, what the Supreme uh, uh, Court no, said. Sorry, Supreme no. Court has made it absolutely no, no, clear no, 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 in the no. bail. Don't uh, spread misinformation. One second, one, 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 let me speak, please. The Supreme Court has made it very Sorry. clear while yeah. granting bail to Sanjay Singh that one, this is not an expression of merit of the case of Sanjay Singh. In fact, the only reason Sanjay Singh has got this bail is because the ED did not object 
and there are oral observations or back and forth between the judges and the uh, ED council etc. But please do not try to present it as Let some sort of a clean chit to Sanjay Singh. Shivani ji, it's very clear that uh, when the uh, submissions were made before the court, that out of the 10 statements on the basis of which uh, Mr. Sanjay Singh was arrested, the initial 10 statements were in his favor by the hmm. so-called approver Dinesh Arora. Hmm. And it was the no, 11th no. statement on the basis no. of which he was arrested. There were two persons. One was Samir Mahindru, who denied that he gave any money. The other was Sarvesh Mishra, who denied that he accepted any money. Uh, no, no, so, Anmol, no, I get this. I know you're going, I know you're going after the, uh, you, uh, you're going after the approver uh, statements. And I don't have an objection with that. But please, we are not discussing the merits of the case. We are not even discussing whether Sanjay Singh is Shivani, guilty or not or Arvind Kejriwal is guilty or not. My, po my Shivani, question to you is very different. Is Why My question yeah, to you is very CM different. Is what message does Arvind Kejriwal as the India against corruption crusader send when he used to challenge people in power saying that you should leave your seat when there is no harm against you. And they are not doing this. Is there no other party in their party? Look, when it has been proven that the case is Niradhar, Bebuniyad and Sakshya the Honorable Supreme Court has time and again said that we cannot only rely on the testimony of an approver, which is an unworthy friend. There needs to be a corroborative evidence. Where is the corroborative evidence in this case? A single piece of evidence. No, no, Can but I that come all in? comes and later. So if, let's say, one second, let me just come in. Anmol, let's say... Your Shivani, point is taken. Let's say your point is taken. Sanjay Singh was in jail for six months. Itself. One second, Anmol. Uh, Sanjay mm -hmm. Singh was in jail for six months, right? And he will now, he can now come out and say, although he cannot comment on the case, but he can now come out and say, okay, I have come out on bail. I can resume my duties. Now, the chief minister also has to go through that process now. And why are you forgetting that Manish Tisodia is in jail for one year? Shivani, uh, we have made it very clear that we went door to door. It is the people of this country who, will, who, who has the absolute power. And they have very categorically said that Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has been given the mandate and he should run the government from jail. And the same sentiments are equal no, oh, by please. all Nobody the said that. members Can of I? legislative okay. assembly. One, 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 we no, one second, Charu, one second. Individual sentiments like cannot road. become the sentiments of the citizens. We, Shivani, can I please? No, one second, now. Charu. He has joined us late. Just give him a little bit of time. No, Anmol, the question, the other question that is surrounding your party today is the distrust, allegedly, where, uh, you know, a lot of speculation is going on about how the chief minister allegedly threw Atishi and Saurabh under the bus. Already people say he played it smart by not signing any file related to the liquor case or the excise policy. And all the weight is shifting to his colleagues while he's washing his hands off. What do you say to that? I, I disagree with that because uh, the statements which were made yesterday have been misconstrued and are erroneous and were just made in order to sensationalize this case. We have made it very clear that uh, Mr. Vijay Nair, whose statement was recorded in, way back in 2022, he was working as media and communication in charge and he used to report. Okay. Anmol, unfortunately, okay. let me just so, see if I can get a better link with you. In the I, meantime, I'll go. I'll give 30 seconds to Charu. Yes, can Charu, I come very quickly. In now? Sanjay Singh's case is Shivani being cited by Aam Aadmi Party, Party because spokesperson. this is the first relief that they have got. The party leaders yeah. have got in this case. And whatever said and done, the ED had to accept today. They've not given him a clean chit, but they had to accept today that, okay, fine, we don't need him anymore. I'll tell you the reason, Shivani. Please, uh, in 30 seconds, I will tell you. One, the court has said this is not an expression of merit. Second, the court has said this is not a precedent. Third, let's understand this is no clean shit in any manner whatsoever. The trial has not yet happened. This is only the investigation stage. Fourth, and very importantly, he was kept behind bars for nearly six months. So all the questioning that had to be done to him has already been done. And that is why ED did not object to his bail. The only reason he got bail today is because because ED must have gotten information from him that was needed and that is why they didn't object to the bail. Fifth and most importantly, he is not the kingpin.
ED has the kingpin now and these are links which are being formed now whether okay. Sanjay Singh said something then Manish Sisodia said something today Arvind Kejriwal is saying something or a vision I said something it's investigation these links are being formed and when they have the kingpin to question a lesser minion can be made to let go because oh. uh, they have questioned him for long enough that is exactly what okay. it is Anmol and is party. now finally it's live with us a better late than never Anmol it's I'll give you 30 win. seconds although I'm almost at the end of my debate but I'll give you 30 seconds what message does it send when Arvind Kejriwal's wife is seen centre stage in an India block rally? Your ministers are being named by him allegedly and throw, being thrown under the bus. And in the meantime, the CM has insisted, you know, outside the realm of practicality, that he will somehow run this government from jail. Shivani, we have made it very clear that Mr. Kejriwal will remain the CM. And what uh, Charuji was saying, that the alleged kingpin... The same enforcement directorate and the same BJP used to say P. Sharad Reddy as the alleged kingpin. He was the one who donated 60 crore rupees to Bharatiya Janta Party and they are not willing to answer. Each and every time, whenever that. they are questioned, no, no, why did they take 60 crore rupees amount of money was given to the Party. Congress also. Why did Congress get money then? No, why did Congress get money then? Don't, don't deviate you from the topic money, at hand. Why do you not address you, what Sunita Babi has been doing? You got money on 8th of Every November 2022. Every political party was given donations. You got money on Every, no, 23rd no, no, of November 2023. Is not going to pull off why did your Kishivar's same enforcement sir? directorate did not oppose the bail? Why do you not talk why about did Sunita Babi? No, other political the parties were given. Okay, okay you want to change the goalpost, you do that. But I am going to stick to the fact that you are pushing forward. Someone, why? Instead of the Reddy. leaders in your political party and of all the number of MLAs who might have won from Amar Party, okay, all of them are in Congress. I have to come in. I have to come in. I want to give Rashid Kitwai 30 seconds. Rashid Kitwai, yeah, yeah, please, come in. Also please come in. Please come in. I anyway don't like people being with me. You cannot make food. The people are not going to be able to do it. You cannot make food. Sunita Kejriwal somehow getting center stage. You must have seen those visuals of Sonia Gandhi sitting right next to her. Irony of course is that Sonia Gandhi and others in that rally were accused by Arvind Kejriwal of being corrupt and wanting them behind jails. Congress has asked for Kejriwal to be behind jail as well. But I'll leave that aside. But the messaging of clinging to power, including his wife suddenly becoming so important in Even the party. Mr. Modi what is that message? Rashid Kidwai. I think it's a, it's a political ploy. It is that emotional link that Amadi party wants to establish with the voters that here is a person who they think was wrong, that here is a wife, so she's you know, better off in cashing it. We have a, a Shivani hole. We don't have time. There's a whole legacy, the whole history of such a, you know, posture. But Arvind Kejriwal was meant to be different, no, Rashid Kidwai? Uh, Shivani, everyone has a right to live and learn. <laughs> so the lessons learned are that this is how you do politics. Yes, I mean, so uh, Mr. Lalu Yadav is, is, is seen as a kind of, you know, as a teacher and people are learning it. This is the beauty of our political system. Well, that could be a very damning statement you're making, Rashid Kidwai, for the Ahmadmi Party. But I've run out of time. I do thank all of you for joining us.